please our guest minister our pastor Ocholi Okutefa he by the grace of God is a servant leader an uncommon vessel one who has dedicated his life and ministry to the service of young men building positive relationship and impacting them to be lights of the world and sort of the earth he has in USA would you please put your hands together as we make welcome God's servant Pastor Ocholi Okutepa Hallelujah 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 Now that's good Hallelujah 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 Are you sure that hallelujah is for Jesus? Hallelujah Fresh is what was Fragrance then it turned to fire. Now we're sure with that. First it was what? Then it turned to what? My worship is my word. This is my word. Ah, no, you don't have to go. Hey. I bring you more than a song today. I brought myself. Because of time, wait, 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 wait. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sirs. Thank you, ma'ams. God bless you. All right. The time is really short, but real see this living. Who is the worship? Can we stand again? Receive, receive me, receive me. of your glory in Jesus name amen please be seated in God's presence hallelujah 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 our father Jacob had an encounter and he made a mistake that would not make these three days he said the Lord was here and we did not know he is here and we know and you know as the president was speaking I just sensed in my heart there are three things that the Lord would do uh, regarding fresh fire. Number one, there will be stirrings of dormant fires. Stirrings of fires that were there but dormant. Number two, there will be impartation of fresh fire. And number three, there will be an exposition by the word that brings knowledge. Because sometimes people don't realize that the reason they are not burning 
is because they don't have knowledge. That's why the word of God says you know the truth and the truth shall set you free. My time is really short, so as a teacher, I would literally just greet you tonight. Praise God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So, um, when I teach, I actually um, get tough on people because we live in an ice cream generation. Uh, so bear with me. What I don't understand is why people who should get angry just find a way to love the teaching. So I'm going to teach according to the grace of God on my life. And I'm going to talk tonight about the distraction that ensures that people are in church but their fires are nothing. You know, the truth is there are two dimensions to Satan's attack on mankind. Keep him from Jesus or keep him useless in Christ. Satan is not afraid of your being in church or being at this convention every year. Some of you, you have broken record since you qualified, you have been attending. But your report card in heaven may be failure when it comes to bearing fruit. And I'm going to show you why. So God is not impressed that somebody is in church. Any tree that does not bear fruit, he's going to prune. He said, I'm the vine, you are the branches. When he begins to prune, he's pruning his own. <laughs> Fresh fire. Before we look for fresh fire, what have you done with the old fire? Because some of us are sitting on fire and we have made ourselves fire extinguishers. Firefighters, not fire burners. I want to burn, oh, I want to burn, oh, I want to burn for you. It's about burning. Because when you light a candle, you don't put it under the bushel. You put it up there. You know, that's why a believer should not be fire extinguisher and should not marry one. You know those people who burn until they get married? <laughs> I'm going to show you some, just a few minutes. I said, I came to greet you. Hello? I came to say hi. Do you understand what I'm saying? <laughs> Meanwhile, I met my wife 20 years ago, first in university. Julia, I didn't give them a picture. You'd have seen the beautiful woman. We'll be married 12 years, December to be 13. Three, <laughs> three lovely children, David, Ariella, Hamina. 11, 10, 8, we're done. Don't ask for more, okay? Praise God. Hallelujah. I miss them. I'll be away for a couple of weeks. Before I go back, the Lord is good. They are sleeping now, you see. You are the love of my life. Without you, I can't breathe. She's in Nigeria sleeping. And I'm here breathing. So all those things we lie to ourselves, not joke. <laughs> Praise God. What's the one great distraction of the earth today and the reason why we are not burning? Mm, I'm coming for you. I'm sorry. Let me pick on somebody I can use. For my sister in glasses. Let me use you as the, as the point of hope. If you get my message, everybody has gotten it. My sister, I'm coming for you and all of us. We have one big problem. There used to be an advert in Nigeria when I sat here meditating on how to present this. I just felt... What happened? Oh, they were showing her. Show the target, show the target. <laughs> That's the target today. Uh -huh. If you get my message, everybody has gotten it. So there used to be this advert, Target, be get it. What's the name? Jade Tola. You are it. Sola. So, Sola. So, Sola. Tido. You are the Target tonight. <laughs> Praise God. You know why I make people laugh a lot when I preach? Because the things I say, they are not very kind. <laughs> Come with me. That distraction is, even in this room right now, that distraction is everywhere. So there's this advert we grew up seeing. I feel good. Ta -na 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 -na. You know it. 
Somebody who who can I feel good. I read that I need feel good. Do you feel good? The biggest <laughs> the biggest destruction today is that people want to feel good. God did not call you into this kingdom to feel good. Christians are failing every day because they want to feel good. I watch people get into the worst marriages on earth because they want to feel good. So they produce a whole movie, The Pursuit of Happiness. (laughs) When right on my inside right now, all the joys from eternity past to eternity future resides as a person out of my belly shall flow so somebody somewhere trying to feel good somebody's kissing in the corner trying to feel good somebody's texting in church trying to feel good and let me say something about feeling because we live in a generation that needs to discern what true worship is that's why we come to church and worship is going on and we cry and we weep and we go back to fornication why it's about the feeling the person felt god they didn't receive god so the person wept and the person went back to also feel sexual aha mm. so it's about the feeling that person just wants to feel good some people take the holy ghost like dope so the corporate atmosphere of worship is what they call worship they don't see worship as obedience so when their choices are called to question, they want to feel good. Mm. Mm. Because a lot of people dress like the Holy Ghost don't want them to dress, but they just want to feel good. Some people are dating people the Holy Ghost has been trying stop it, stop it stop it, but they want to feel the cross didn't feel good but he hung in there because your destiny was about that cross he said not my will but yours be done Ah, I watch people break relationships I no longer feel it because they do not understand it's about commitment I told my wife as a university student if I tell you a lie that I will not meet a woman more beautiful than you that's a lie <laughs> my wife is not the most beautiful woman in the world she's the most beautiful woman I have chosen because choice is stronger than feeling so just in case, not this side of the hall, maybe somewhere behind, somebody's been through three relationships in seven years because of feelings. So unstable. Woo, 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 woo. Woo, woo, woo. I feel. I feel. Mm, that person that is laughing, two relationships in three years. Feelings. Mm-hmm. Feelings. I feel. So we don't have commitment anymore because everything is about feeling, feeling, feelings, feelings. And guess what? I love Gary Chapman. The lifespan of that feeling in relationship is approximately two years. So I spent 18 years generating feelings than receiving feelings. Because the man who is my mentor in marriage never biologically married his name is Jesus while we're yet sinners he didn't say I don't feel like talking to you I feel like breaking up with you the Bible says while we're yet sinners he made a decision against an emotion he came and died 
So you want to choose. Can I say this to brothers? Oh my God, I don't know how to lie. That's a problem. I, I wish I could just cover this up a little. But you meet this girl, flat tummy, everything in shape. Oh my God. My God. My God, everything in place. Then the same you begin to pray to God for the fruit of the womb. <laughs> then the fruit of the womb has a way of making the body rise. Do you get what I mean? Do you get what I mean? So you contributed to the alteration of what you chose. Then the same man looks at the woman and wonders, what is this? It is what you made. Do you get what I mean? So my brother, haven't you seen women who married men with six park but are living with amusement park? Do you get what I mean? Do you get what I mean? Do you get what I mean? We are all changing. Something is changing. So that if you want to follow the feeling, you are already in trouble. You are already in trouble. My wife, after three children, gained 20-something kg. Oh my God. And I didn't marry this type. I married this type. So we went this way. My God. Glory to God. She muttered more. <laughs> she asked, uh, somebody just wondered, this guy is an abusive man. Don't worry, we know I could. <laughs> and we know how we lost it too together. Because it's not about the feelings. So we have too many people. Feelings, very often a distraction. Feelings are fickle. You can't trust them. So you know what I do right now in my marriage? I'm a feelings generator. I produce feeling. I don't wait for feelings to happen. I make it happen by what I do. The calls I make, the actions I take. I'll give you one example. I teach it to married people. There's something like Sunday outing in our house. Okay, in this culture, you go out a lot. In our culture, you don't. So no cooking in the house on Sunday bonding time. When I started the same woman fought me because she thought it was more expensive on the family but I said something needs to take us out so that we can sit as a family and bond because at that point my action is stronger than my emotion because my actions can create emotions and the reason why we live in a world where people don't take responsibility is that people are embracing feelings at every turn. So they are more concerned with what they feel than the feeling they can create. And that's why your life is in chaos. Because, let me put it mildly and not look at anybody, you are irresponsible. Absolutely irresponsible. All the guys in the house, please can you stand? Every man in the house. Every man in the house, please stand. You are the solution of the problem in the world today. You. You. It takes a woman possessed of a special demon to make mess of a good relationship. Have you ever gotten the plane and the plane hit turbulence and the pilot got on the mic and say, you passengers, you are shaking this plane. That would be an irresponsible pilot. Ladies, look around. This is the solution or the problem of the future of the church. If you don't beat women, they will not be beaten. If you don't cheat on them, they will not be cheated on. If you don't, if you don't become absent, then you will have fathers who can train children. And none of that is going to come by how you feel. Let me tell you something about how you feel. Girls are chasing you now. You don't chase them anymore. It's not going to be about feelings. You know what I'm talking about. Some of you have faced it here already. My God, you look good. I know I look good, but man, it's not about feelings. Because you see a macho man showed by a tiny voice. Wow. Look at him. And Mumu, he's not a... <laughs> You are the hope for the church. Because we have come to the generation of feelings. That's right. Taking little or no responsibility. Please, you may be seated. I will come for the ladies who are clapping. I will come for you. I have plans for you. I have plans for you. Because your feelings have made you a victim even when you are not victimized. Why? 
Too many girls forget that they are the needed, not the needy. Go to scripture. Go to scripture. I give you quick Bible study in Genesis chapter 1. He made them male and female. Male and female came into existence the same day. Can you come now, Sola? Let's do this example together. Thank you. Clap for her. Clap for her. Praise God. Hallelujah. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Who is one handsome young man around? Anyone? Anyone? See, you're bending your head. Come, brother. Come, brother. Come, brother. Come, come. <laughs> no, the man behind you, but yes. <laughs> May you not dodge on the day. <laughs> come, brother. Come, brother. <laughs> Here's the deal. Look at this. If you read in Genesis chapter 1, God began to declare what he wanted to do. And this is what he did. Male and female created he them same day. She's not an afterthought. Not an afterthought at all. You know, sometimes girls go to God behaving like, give me husband or I die. Please, John Knox was made for a nation. Your own feelings, feelings, me, husband, or I die. Mm-mm, you're not going to die. Then God did this. God took her and hid her. Get inside. Don't misinterpret the hiding for denial. That's not what's going on. She's not denied. And I will show you why God does this. Genesis 2, 15. Watch this. So, he is manifested. She is hidden. Yahweh God took the man and placed him. Now, at this point, he was referring to man male. Put him in the garden to walk and to watch over it. So start walking, sir. Just be walking. Next verse, while he walks. <laughs> I didn't say, look, walk, clean something, move something. Thank you. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Watch this, watch this. And Yahweh God commanded him. He commanded him. Do you know what a lot of you girls are doing? You are dating uncommanded men. Men that cannot be commanded. God can't even reach them. You are dating them. God is struggling to keep him single to learn some lessons. You are rushing him. Date me. Date me. Date me. Just date me. Date me. Date me. And God commanded him. The guy you are dating, can God command him? Can God instruct him? Or the culture is commanding him? Can you be in hiding and be fine? Can you be there and be fine? Watch this. Time is a burden. I need to rush. Next verse. But you must not eat of the tree that gives the knowledge of good and evil. For when you eat from it, you most certainly will die. Next verse. Watch this. Then Yahweh God said, it is not good for the man to be alone. He doesn't make the choice on when to date. He's instructed on when to date. Look at that. The idea of marriage did not begin with Adam saying, excuse me, sir, you made us two. Where's the second one? She's hidden. He's not talking. He's focused. And God said, hey, guy, you got the command. You got the job. Now you need help. Some boys don't need help because there's no job. There's no command. They don't need help. That's why the only thing they'll do with you is to fornicate with you because man must do something. It's either he's commanded or he's sinning. Do you understand? <laughs> I came to greet you tonight. Are you greeted? I came to say hi. Have you received my hi? Let me finish the greeting. Let me finish the greeting. Watch this. Watch this. Therefore, I will fashion a suitable partner to be his help and strength. Watch this. I don't know the kind of movies you see here, but in Nigeria movies, yeah, when you receive this kind of command, do you know what will happen the next day? you just be walking on the street, then somebody will be driving a car, then there will be a puddle of water, then the person will just splash it on you. Oh my God, you, you're so you to me. Then the guy will just come out, oh, so sorry. And as he says sorry, your eyes will just lock. <sighs> Oh, 
Why? Because a lot of times when you receive the word, you think the word must be instant. Faith must work with patience. And I'll show you what God did to Adam. He said, for Yahweh God has formed from the soil every animal. He promised him a wife, tested him with animals. That's why some of you are dating animals. The animals that were brought for test, you started dating them. 18, it's not good for you to be alone. 19, animals. Some of you are dating monkeys, you know it. You know it. Mm, you know it. Look at this. Please change to the NLT, New Living Translation, for context. NLT, NLT. <laughs> He's still alone. And there's something Adam did that made him get it right. What did he do? Learn to reject all if the promise is not an option. Because sometimes people come to me for counseling. Sir, there are two guys asking me out. They will describe both of them and ask me to help them choose one. And the question I always ask, who told you that these two are all the options there are? You can reject both. You must not choose one. Watch this. Time is failing me. Verse 20. Watch this. Uh He gave names to all the livestock, all the birds of the sky, and all the wild... You are even dating wild animals. Wild animals. Verse 20, verse 20, verse 20, verse 20, verse 20. They are buying my two minutes. Add it for me. But still, there was no helper. So his naming was a test of finding one. So he named all, rejected all, and was still alone. She's still in that booth. Both of them are brutally single. Uh, Man of God, I came into this year believing God for a relationship. This is July. I'm still alone. Remain alone. (laughs) Sir, this year will not pass me by. It has passed you already. And heaven will not fall. Let me leave this out. It has passed you this year. This year is gone. Leave this year. You got times and seasons in your life. You call for light out of darkness. You don't need a man to be the God. Ah! You have chosen. Somebody cannot boast in their relationship with God, but they are struggling for relationship with man to define them. I, I, who is man that thou art mindful of him and the son of man that you visit him? Outdated. The psalmist was outdated because in the New Testament, he indwells me. He's not just visiting, he lives here. If you are looking for where God lives, don't look for an address. He gave names. Watch this, 21. That's where the revelation is. So the Lord God caused the man to sleep. Time will fail me to go in all of this. But let me just read it through and get where I want to go to. So the Lord God caused the man to fall into a deep sleep. Sleep is another revelation I'll explain. Not today. While the man slept, God caused the sleep. The man did the sleeping. There are two things entirely. No time for that. The Lord God took one of the man's rib. Uh-huh. She exists. But she didn't have material form. Next verse. Watch this. Now get ready to act drama. Listen to the reading and act it. <laughs> then the Lord God made a ring from the woman and he brought her. Wait, before, before, before I bring you, before I bring you, the Lord God made, the Lord God made, the Lord God made. When the Lord God made, who brought her? If God brought her to him, who did she see first? Who is she walking with? Who is she following? Who is holding her hands? Who is leading her on? Who brought her to him? God bless you. See you tomorrow.